Hello and welcome to the next video in our series, Joomla 2.5. We'll be discussing today the event booking extension. Here on our Joomla 2.5 site, you can see what that looks like on the home page. You can click on any of these, bring up a page for that event. And if we go to the back end of the website, we'll be able to find the event booking extension under components, event booking. And here we see a list of all the events that we have in the website right now. The events are very easy to manage with this component. Uh, if we had a new event, first we would probably want to create a new location for that event. Uh, so I can click here on locations. Here are some of the existing locations and it would be very easy to click new and add that location, name, address, city, state, zip. The system will automatically populate the latitude and longitude. And next we might want to check categories to see if we need to create a new category. Again, if we needed to, we could click on new, give the category a name, keep the layout as default, possibly give it a description, and then we would have that new category and location available to us. So rather than create a new event, I'm going to edit one of these existing events. And here we see the basic information, the title of the event, the category, the location, event start date, event end date, the price, capacity, registration type, individual and group registration, cutoff date, when should we stop accepting registrations for this event, the maximum number of registrants allowed per group, whether or not it's published, and just like working in an article, here is the full description of our event, and some extra miscellaneous details like whether it's accessible to the public or only to registered users, whether enable cancel registration is a possibility, and if they have to cancel before a particular date, should they get an automatic reminder of the event, and how many days ahead of the event should that be sent. And the next tab we have here is discount setting, whether or not you want to offer a discount. So if there's a particular discount and you give them a special code, they'd be able to enter that certain billing fields you would like to have available for this particular event, whether you want the last name to be shown, whether it's a required field, what group member fields you would like displayed, and what should be required. Any extra information, if you'd like to have an extra text field or text area field. And here's some advanced settings. If you have a different PayPal email than what is already set in the main settings, you can post that here. Notification emails. Everything is described here on the right, so you can come in and look at any time and see what you might need to do or look at other versions of it. There are particular tags available here if you were to create an email that the system would automatically send out and it would pull this information from the database for each individual registrant. We have many of these pre-programmed in the settings already, so I'm going to cancel out of this event. If you need to change the overall settings of this event management component, there's a configuration tab here. We can click on this and here we have the main settings for the whole system. Whether or not the event booking is integrated with a community extension such as Community Builder or Job Social, user registration integration, calendar start date, these are all very explanatory and they all have information here on the right that helps you understand what everything is. So you can edit all of this configuration at any time if you needed to. Who should be notified on these messages, what themes should be used, billing fields, group member fields, waiting list fields. On the registrants tab, you can take a look at who has actually registered for a particular event. If you click on their name, you'll get more information. Under custom fields, we have several custom fields that we've put in so far and you can always add additional custom fields by clicking on new and you'll notice you can select it for all events, give it a name, a title. You can choose the field type such as a text box, a text area, a drop down, multi-select. So it's a very powerful system. It gives you a lot of options. Payment plugins can be configured on this screen. As of right now, we're only using PayPal. And there's a tab to export registrants and that will create a CSV file which can be opened in Excel. So it's all very self-explanatory. And if we go back to the events tab, if you were to add a new event, it would appear here immediately and you can publish it or unpublish it. And it would also appear on our event calendar. Events can be recurring and visitors to the website would be able to navigate to different months, take a look at these events, register for these events, etc. So that's the description of our Joomla 2.5 event management component. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more.